Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this video will record everything. Uh, we had a major malfunction yesterday on the, the beer, uh, uh, the tornado from Treehouse that Greg had sent me. Uh, it didn't record it. I don't know why. Uh, something happened and just vanished. I hit the record button, the light came on. When I uploaded it, it wasn't there. So hopefully it'll record all of this and I hope the camera's not going bad. Uh, this is Skadoosh. Uh, this, this is from the Alchemist. Uh, Greg sent this to me. Uh, it's a 7% IPA. And the note he sent with it says, uh, an American IPA. His father, John, got this from the brewery in late April. Wish the Alchemist would put a date on their cans. Well, so do I, Greg. Uh, a lot of these breweries uh, don't do it. And uh, we need to keep fussing till they hear us and do it. The Alchemist is a big enough brewery to do that if they choose not to. Uh, they're the ones that make Heady Topper and Focal Banger and a lot of other tasty beers, but they don't seem to think it's important enough to uh, buy a dating machine and date their shit. So uh, that would probably cost them a grade point. That's what happens. Uh, if you are, you're big enough to do it, if you're a brand new brewery and you can't afford it and or either so small you're selling everything out of the brewery, these beers are distributed, so uh, he got this one at the brewery, so I don't know if this was a brewery only release, but they could still date them, guys. These beers are bought and traded. Uh, you, you just don't know, and it helps us look at the bottom of it and see the date, how old the beer is. So, my two cents. Uh, commercial description says, version number one is made with lupulin powder from Mosaic Hops. Uh, he doesn't say anything else. So I don't know if this is version 1. I don't see it written on the can anywhere. This says 7% Skadoosh American IPA. Nothing on the bottom of the can so I have no idea guy which version this is. So uh, it is what it is. They, they're only going to give us the information they choose to give us. So uh, let's see what it brings to the table here. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to talk about so let's pop the top on this and get it into the glass. I hope we're recording. The red light is on, so I don't know. That's the first time that's happened to me in 2,600 some beer reviews that it didn't record when the light was on. So, into the glass we go. And these guys are known, uh, just like on their heavy toppers, they drink from the can because they don't want you to see all the floaties that's in the beer. I heard this one had floaties also. Cuisine is curry and Thai cheese and peppery Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar. Your stronger cheeses, gorgonzola, limburger. The meat is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. I'll add real meat to that. Glass water, pint, bacchanal, tumbler, mug, side, side ale. It does look very, very cloudy. It looks like an unfiltered beer. I can see some light through down here. I've got my favorite tulip glass today, the solid beer glass, and not recommended for extended celery. Let's get it to the nose. Very different smelling, guys. Getting a little bit of peppery spice in there. And some grapefruit. Maybe some lemon peel. A little bit of a, uh, I don't want to say tart, but... It is. It's almost like grapefruit juice tartness. Nice hop aroma. Very, very nice. Smells pretty good, other than that little bit of spiciness. But that may be coming from the lemon or some of the hops that they've used. Uh, they're saying here lupulin powder from the mosaic hops in version one. I have no idea what this is. Well, let's dive in. 
Here's everybody. Here's Greg. And here's John, Greg's dad. Got his whole family working. His brother Adam, his dad, John, Greg. You got it going on, buddy. <laughs> That is very, very tasty. And it is so cloudy, I'm not seeing a whole lot of particulates, but they may be in the bottom of the can that I haven't poured. I have poured Heady Topper out of the can and seen a lot of little floaties floating around in there. I don't think I have the IBUs for this weirdest look. No, I do not. So, uh, not knowing what version it is, I don't know what hops they've used, whether they've used powder or, or actually used some hops. Maybe this is version one. I don't know. Seems like they would put that on the can. This is a uh, stick on label, so, uh, you know, it's not like they had a special can printed up. I don't know. All these brewers choose not to put a bunch of writing on there. This one has very, very little writing on it. So, let me pour the last half of this in there. And we're going to sip on this for a little bit, let her taste it, and then we'll come back and see where it ends up. Pleasant beer. It is a pleasant beer. Might have to turn this around. All right, guys, I'm back. Got this a little left in here. This beer has so much junk floating around in it, it's very unappealing in the glass. I mean, it looks like it's an old beer where the hops have coagulated and everything into the to the beer. Very unappealing, and just like I said earlier, when they do their heady top there, they print on the can, drink from the can, because they don't want you to see all this crap floating around in their beers. It's very unappealing. It's nothing probably that's going to hurt you. I don't know how old the beer is, uh, uh, if, according to what uh, what Greg had, uh, had wrote me wrote me here. Uh, uh, he wrote that uh, his dad picked it up at the brewery, so I know it's more than likely not an old beer. But it has so much junk floating around in it, it's very unappealing in the glass. So if you buy anything from the Alchemist, you probably ought to drink it out of a can like a barbarian because they don't want you to see that, and you probably don't want to see it either. Uh, it's very unappealing. I mean, it, it is. It's a very tasty beer. It's a nice beer. But maybe you should drink them from the can so you don't see all that crap floating around in there. Uh, when I brew beers, I don't have stuff like that floating around in mine. And if it's an unfiltered beer, it'll be a lot cloudier and not be able to see all that stuff floating around in it. So I don't know what process they're using uh, to do their beers. But it's very, very unappealing looking. So, But it is what it is. Uh, I'm not sure I would buy their beers if they were available here just because of what it looks like in the glass because I don't drink beer out of the can. I want to see what I look like. I want to see what I'm drinking. I want to smell it and and, and this is a mm, final choke. Like I said, I'm sure it's nothing that's going to hurt you but it's very unappetizing in the glass. But those big chunks floating around in there. No data on the can. We don't have a version. I don't know how old the beer is, but he did buy it at the brewery. Doesn't mean anything. Could be sitting at the brewery for a while until they sell it. Probably not. But need more information on the can from these guys. Uh, it's an A beer, guys, but it's an A minus from me. Uh, I'm going to give it a 90. I don't like the way their beers look in a the glass. They are tasty but they're very unappealing in the glass. Drink them from a can like a barbarian, I guess. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 91, outstanding. A beer there. Over to Untapped, they say 4.23. A beer there also. It is an A beer, but they need to get more information on the can as far as I'm concerned. Can it put a date on it. They're big enough to do that. They choose not to. Uh, and whatever brewing process they're using, they're having all these floaties in there. Maybe they need to filter their beers and get that shit out of there. I mean, nothing's going to hurt you. You see me drinking it. There was no bad taste or anything, but it's just very unappealing. I, I just don't like the way their beers look in a glass. So, that's where we're going to leave it. If you've had this one from uh, the Alchemist, this is their Skadoosh. So, uh, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge.